My no rules viewers, my cousins, just check. Is there anything on my beard or anything? Am I, am I looking good? Yeah, just checking. You know, sometimes I've got things hanging, you know? Thinking about growing my hair again. But welcome to a new episode of No Rules. Uh, in the building today, we have uh, no one to my left. To my right, we've got uh, Blau. Then we've got Felix Kemp. G Bond is left, I don't know why. Got Tigo in the house and our special guest, Nobody. Once again, WhatsApp, messages in the AM, excuses. Last week was Paris, this week was ah. Uh, so I, I, my reply to that was, bro, I think you're scared to come on. Mm. Am, I, am, I, am I a scary guy to talk to, to be honest? Am I, because obviously it's no rules. I'm not intimidated to meet you. Of course. I'll speak to you because I've probably known you long enough. Mm -hmm. But um, I met M. Huncho today. That was pretty intimidating. I met Nico Omolana. Well, I've met him before, but I met him yesterday outside the office. Let's that was Nico. intimidating. Let's get Nico on. I, I, just, I, just, I just messaged Sharky about getting Nico on, actually. Yeah, he's the best. So he's very, very, very good. And you but met M. Huncho? M. Huncho, yeah. So with M. Huncho, is, I like that song called Fum, right? But yeah. when I actually listened to the words, yeah. I didn't know he was talking about putting Fum in the bum. And you didn't know Skits was in the video. I didn't know Skits was in the video. So um, I don't know if I like M. Huncho anymore. You never go on uh, Pornhub and search Fum in the bum? Nah, 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 nah. That's the, there's other stuff I could search. You know, listen, if the Fum's in the bum, that's the Fum, but I'm, I'm, I'm focused on other stuff. You know, Such a that's what that's what gets my imagination going. What you does? Know? Well, you know, just you know, Ella Hughes. That's what you search, just Ella Hughes. Well, for now, because I'm, we're in strong. You know, I tried to search um, the girl that poet brought up uh, from Gladiators, but she's not there. Ah. Big up poet though. Poet is a genius. Yeah. For bringing us or taking us back to a situation from gl uh, uh, Gladiators, because all I know is Shadow Man. <laughs> and then, you call him Shadow Man, yeah. even though his name's Shadow. No, Shadow Man. <laughs> and the only thing sh um, that's got a situation is his eyes, because eyes are always yellow. And that's what I used to like about him. It's just, well, your eyes are dirty, man. Live on TV, back in the day. There's, a, um, there's actually, he did an article mm. in one of the newspapers a couple of years ago yeah. about how, yeah, it was a pretty rough time for him. Cocaine, crack, all of that. So he was on he was on serious drugs allegedly yeah according to him I don't think that's allegedly actually if you admit yeah. to it so if you take cocaine your eyes go yellow like that I don't I maybe I've seen a lot of people take cocaine and their eyes not go yellow though I think Shadow Man should uh, put milk in a bucket put his head in a bucket and open his eyes <laughs> it's the best thing to do I told Daz to do that <laughs> Daz used to have yellow eyes look at him now look at him now milk. <laughs> You told him to do it. Did he do it? Dazza, did you do it? <laughs> I told you. Dazza done it. What? How, did he actually used to have yellow eyes? Dazza? Yeah. Dazza was too busy walking, looking at, you know, seagulls. Boom, it lands inside. <laughs> <laughs> and he's wiping the eyes out, but <laughs> the shit is inside. Yeah, I know a lot of people that have got yellow eyes. What is the science behind putting your head in a bucket? Listen, milk is white. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you got the bucket of milk. <laughs> you put your face in there. Open your eyes. All the milk goes into the eyes. So all the bird shit in that just... Bird shit in milk. The milk just removes it. Calcium. <laughs> I guess in, in response to your question, um, are you a scary guy to talk to? We we did... We were walking uh, in Dalston mm. on Monday. Yeah. After Filthy. And a man did jump out of a car. Mm -hmm. To, in, to greet you. Yep. And he was so excited to meet you that he kissed your hand. Yeah. So that could be someone that, maybe that is a sign that you're a scary guy to talk to. Well, first of all, the guy was Somalian. Yeah. And that's facts. Somali. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Somali. That's Somali. Facts. I keep saying Somali. The guy was Somali is facts. He's come out and he, he was with his girl. Yep. She was Somali as well. Yeah. And you know, they, they were very happy to see me. They bigged up the show. They saw me on other platforms. Um, and every time it was like, all right, cool love bro and you turn to go me you go walk off he'll grab me back and say something else so I was like alright cool he's got time and I'm telling him I'm like bro you know like I'm your neighbour man like I I'm nearly Somali as well yeah. he's not trying to hear that no. he's trying to think about which hand he's in a kiss but I don't know <laughs> it's coming so I go to walk off he's grabbed me I'm walking off grab me boom he kisses my hand and gave you a speech and gave me a speech now the speech was nice but now I'm worried about the hand why? If you're chewing sticks and you're going, 
kiss my hand. Am I gonna get a rash? <laughs> So Scratching good. hands. That, when you get when you get itch on the hands, it's irritating, irritating. So in my mind, I'm thinking, ah, oh, now I gotta go home. Coronavirus. Put salt in a bucket this time. <laughs> Put my hand in there and wait. <laughs> I just wait. This is this is these are both solutions. <laughs> my family always told me like any when you had a toothache, salt and water. Yeah, like, that's real. If you had a cup. Salt, you put salt on it. Again, that's a real saline solution, yeah. Yeah, and you know, if a rash, you got a rash, you put salt on it as well. Because <laughs> I used to have eczema when I was young, all yeah. in my body, so mum used to put salt on me. I bet, I bet she didn't. Honestly, if she's watching now, did you put salt on me, mum? <laughs> Has she ever watched? Have I watched? <laughs> Has your, your, your mum ever watched? Her? Yeah. Of course she's watched. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what, had a bath? No, watched. Watched the show. Oh, oh I'm about to start speaking. I can't believe he's asking me <laughs> my mum has ever watched. What do you mean? <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah. I'm going to ask someone that. Let's go ask. Have you watched before? This is why oh. you're a scary person <laughs> to speak to. Uh, yeah, she's watched. Yeah, she has. She's watched a bit of it. Okay. The thing is, what she's not into all this stuff, but is it, now she's seen only Joshua, she sees money, mm. so she wants to see who I'm talking to. So she see Conor McGregor, she doesn't know who, yeah. who that is. <laughs> I was thinking, or yeah. understand what he was saying. Who do we need to get then for her to know who they are? We need to get Ronnie Bonky, Benny Hinn, Benny Hinn, yeah. Mafia Shomolowo, uh, Blau's dad. <laughs> what's your, what's your dad's name? Rocky. How can a priest be called Rocky? <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do. Oh my God, Tigo. So obviously the coronavirus now is around my area. All right? Kenny Wolf has been cut off. Yeah. Right? So people in the building now, they can't get out. So before that, I'm sleeping and I'm dreaming too. I can't remember what I'm dreaming about, but I know I was dreaming. And my body woke me up because my body was telling me, I need to go to the toilet. No. Now in my mind, I'm thinking it's air. You know? <laughs> oh, that kind of toilet. So sometimes when you're sleeping with someone in the bed and you've got a bit of air and you know this air is gonna be eggy, what you do, you bring out the bum cheeks and you put on the edge of the bed. Then you put the cover to the side. So when you air it out, the diffusion goes that way. <laughs> So I've got to do that, so that no one in the room smells this egg, because then that means everybody <laughs> wakes up. Remember, it's five in the morning, people got to sleep at work in the morning. I've got to do it. So the air is coming out, the air stops. All right, block, poop. There's a block. Yeah. That means now, there's a big object coming out. <laughs> I said, ooh. <laughs> got up, butt naked, tiptoes, into the toilet, diarrhea. Now, I'm tired, but this diarrhea felt amazing. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It was just it just came out smooth. It, it attacked the water in the toilet, and it just felt good. Well, my, even my, my toes were facing up. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, 45 minutes in, I'm doing this. And you know, half an hour in when you feel like you're done, but in your belly it makes a noise, and then it comes out again. Half an hour, uh, your timelines, I'll just accept them. I won't challenge them. Half an hour, 45 minutes, diarrhea. It's great. <laughs> it might be a bit much. Is it? Well, Maybe. so now I'm thinking, now it's quarter to six. <laughs> I've got coronavirus. I'm going to die. Did you have your phone with you? I had my, so I didn't have my phone. I'm thinking to get the phone because I need, I need to check out life insurance. <laughs> not, not the symptoms of coronavirus. Well, issues told me, if you get coronavirus, you die straight away. That's what he told me. So <laughs> okay. that's stuck in my mind. Yeah, okay. That's what she said. Yeah. So for me, now I'm thinking about planning everything so that when I die, everything's set. But you told me today, coronavirus doesn't, it's not a diarrhea situation, is it? No, I don't know for sure. I don't think it okay. is. I don't, a, I, a, I don't think it is. B, I don't think everyone who gets it dies. And C, I just think, do you not think this is a great like vehicle for you to maybe engage more in the news and actually understand things? The news? Yeah. 
the news. Because it could have saved you a lot of you sitting on the toilet being scared. I haven't watched the news in maybe f- four years now. Why? What happened four I years think the news li- I think the news lie. About what? About stories, they told me. I don't believe the news anymore. And the worst, the worst people to break news is the TMZ ones. Because <laughs> they always have a clip of CPR. Whoever, whatever celebrity has passed away, TMZ have got a clip of CPR. <laughs> So I don't, that's why I don't do the news. Well, the TMZ aren't on the news. No, I know. But BBC News, no, no. What happened on the BBC News that turned you off it? Uh, what, 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 uh, Jill Dando. <laughs> that's where it started. I started to question things. Jill, woman crime watch been, no, this is nonsense. <laughs> that was one. Second one, what was it? There was another story. Oh yeah, the Brexit stuff. Uh... Yeah, T, come on. Come on. That put me off the news. I'm, I'm a conspiracy. Remember, I'm, I'm a conspiracy. I, yeah, I, but you don't even know any coronavirus conspiracies. You're just making one up in exist. your head. Cons- co- co- coronavirus, Macau disease, and Zika virus. They don't, don't, and Ebola. They don't exist. SARS? SARS. What's that? Don't remember SARS? No. SARS was like the original uh, Z- coronavirus. Came from Asia. So, Z- so SARS, so basically this virus updates itself and comes out with new names. That is how viruses work. They, they get into the human bloodstream, mm. they, they infect or they affect loads of people, then the human body works out its antibodies, figures it out, and then you know you get the vaccines that beats them off, but then they don't, they don't disappear. They go and work out different ways to attack you, and they become different viruses. The, the, the only virus I believe in is the one where I used to have a computer, Macintosh. And, um, Macintoshes don't get viruses. Was it, was it, was it Macintosh? Packard Bell? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 Windows. Well, Windows yeah. 98 yeah that's I got it now I got it because you had to put the CD in to install Windows 98 I remember I used to work at a computer fair long 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 time ago <laughs> you love to now it's coming back, back. I worked at a computer fair. fair Windows 98 I was sort of shaking Tube 8 oh my gosh Tube 8 I don't know what that is so Tube 8 was the, was be, was be way before XX videos and Pornhub Tube 8 was there wasn't categories interracial MILF, Cougars, Midgets, BDSM, Strap-ons, She-Mills, Fake Taxi. <laughs> There's now Uber Driver. I saw Uber Driver yesterday night. The Uber Driver's fucking girls as well. <laughs> there was none of that with you, mate. <laughs> what was that? Whatever came up first, you have to watch. <laughs> what? BBW, that's what you're sort of sticking to right now. And the BBW ones is very noisy. Da, 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 da. Flabberacious. <laughs> so I remember I was on Tube 8 and I thought I'll always, you know, clear the history so that, you know, when Mumsy goes on the computer, she don't see that I'm using or see what I'm watching. Virus! Tube 8 gave us the virus. When you put the computer on and you press, let's say, control panel, a lady pops up with breasts in the face. The computer is virused. <laughs> Did your mum use the computer for anything at that time? Yeah, of course. Solitaire. <laughs> she said she was the best player in the country. <laughs> Playing the computer. <laughs> oh, my mum used to love Solitaire. Solitaire. All of our mums <laughs> played Solitaire against the computer. It's a terrible game. Terrible game. Have you ever tried playing it with real cards? Never. No, oh, it's long. Well, you know what it's time for? It's time for the commenters. Serious Sundays. It's, right. ser- it's serious Sundays, yes. We had so many comments on last week's show. And actually, not just because, you know, I do Filthy, I do a lot of other channels. I know when comments are good. Mm. Comments were good this week. That's great because obviously no guest, and me and you have said, you know what? As much as we want a guest, we're not going to force it. We want to. We want to be up. every week. Yeah. That's yeah. what we want to be. Yeah. Guests yeah. are important, but we want to be every week. Yeah, of course. That's what's important. Yeah. But it's not just you know. It's people that get the jokes. Mm. People that are involved and they're contributing, and it's amazing. So there are a few here, mm-hmm. but yeah, I just wanted to point out to everybody. 
that we noticed the comments were amazing. They're, they're just, it was so strong last week. Thank you, man. That means a lot to me, honestly. Mm. Even though as much as, as much as I'm never serious, that little moment there of all these comments coming in, that made me feel a bit emotional, man. Yeah. But now I'm over the emotional. Let's go. Yep. First comment from Trending UK. Can we have Specs jail story, please? This is crazy, man. My life, my life is like it's, it's, it's probably like a a movie. One day we'll do a film on me, man. So, um, uh, yeah, I guess so. Basically, look, I went to jail. I went to jail for not saying sorry. I decided to go crown court and argue with the judge that's wearing a wig. Rule number one: you never argue with a guy that's you know been around with the craze in a wig, and he can send you to jail. You should never argue with him. So I'm there arguing my case, not knowing if I, you know, so if I would have said sorry, I would have been home. So he sends me to jail, 30 months in jail, all right? Um, and I go to Thameside, beautiful jail, Butlin's jail. <laughs> Why? Because I've got a, a shower in my cell, oh, TV, really? phone. Yeah, it's, it was it was a nice jail. It was clean. It was it was new. It was it, it, it's like Dawson today. All right. With the new builds. New builds, yeah. It was, it's not, you know, old prison where, you know, the, the cockroach and the, the mouse come and give you TB. Because that's, <laughs> that's, that happens in some of these old yeah. jails. So, I mean, um, this jail, uh, about to do 15 months. But I'm, I've been told by other prisoners that your case is nothing. You know, you, you, you'll be out in, uh, in four or five months on good behavior. Just don't fight and you'll get tagged. So, yeah. I was in jail, uh, I remember it was called D Lowers. And what I loved about this uh, jail was the football tournament. I got, I, we did trials. They asked me to do kick-ups with a can on the wing. All right, I did two. Yeah, I've never seen you do kick-ups. Yeah. But again, it's, it, it didn't make, it's jail. Jail, there's no rules. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, oh, who's the, you know, the manager of the team? There was one big guy, he's deaf, he's on IPP, so he's there. He's the, he's the captain of the wing. What's and IPV? IPP. I think IPP is when you're you're on license forever. So anytime you leave jail yeah. and you commit a crime, you go straight back. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, so you're just like always on warning. Always on, yeah. yeah, always. So he was the captain. He's like, can you play? You sure? Yeah. You look a bit skinny and stuff. I'm like, what's this guy talking about? Anyway, you have to do kickups for can. I'm struggling. Um, did two. That was enough to get me into the team. <laughs> Not a good team. So I started a sub. And I've, this is one of the, my greatest moments. I remember it was nil-nil. I came on. I hit two goals. Scored two goals. And it was that school. Remember in school when year seven, you started year seven and there was football trials and someone scored a hat-trick and the whole school was talking about you. Mm. So now I was the guy. So now my walk has changed. The way I'm talking has changed. And now I don't even want to go home. I want to stay here till the league is done. <laughs> was it the same playing the same team every time? Yeah, yeah. So basically, me there's a there was a there was a boy called Aggie man. He was from Brixton. Uh, they used to call him Aggie. Uh, he actually called me. He just came out about a month ago, so he gave me a call. So he uh, we're getting Nando's. I ain't gonna turn up though. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> but um, yeah, reunion, reunion. Yeah. Um, so it was just it was it was an experience. But mentally, I showed resilience. Uh, I was on it. I was busting joke in there. Some some funny stories. There's a guy that I'm that if I see, I want to beat up, and I've seen him and I ain't done nothing. That's why I'm a wassy, just like Miles. Next comment comes from Neem Sentain. That might Neem. be Neve. Neem. Nah, it's Neem. It's, it's not. It might be Naeem actually. N H Y I M. N H Y M. Yeah, name. Name. Mm. Anyway, he says, I'm just back from researching Ella Hughes. Very educational. Thank you, Babo, man. Thank you. Ella Hughes is... Do you know how I found Ella Hughes? I found Ella Hughes by... Um, I was shoulder shaking to the Asian twins on um, uh, Babe Station. Pretty... I can't remember the other one's name. If you, if you know, let me know. Uh, and then I met them when I was DJing. And I was like... She shook my hand. I was like, wow, like, this is the girl I used to shoulder shake to. So I thought, because I've met her and I've spoke to her, let me show the shake even more because I'm getting closer to her. <laughs> and then I see her with a next girl. I think her name was Jerry. So I typed in Jerry and then I saw Jerry and Ella Hughes. 
doing their thing together. And I said, oh, this Ella Hughes is all right because obviously she's a ginger. So you never, you know, you never look at a ginger and be like, mm. but this one, I was like, mm. <laughs> and next, you know, you know, um, we're, we're, we're very close. Your recall yeah. of porn streaming activity yeah. is savant-like and slightly concerning. Why? This is what my, it's the mind. I, listen, research and exploring stuff on your own is the key. If, if you're sort of shaking and you're, or, you know, to someone or something, find out more about that person. Why not? You have to expand on this imagination. You have to, remember, you're already imagining that you're, you know, um, you're the bajin. The bajin is having sex in French. That's what we, me and Megan right. call it. Yeah? yeah. So you got to imagine that you're the bajin. You know what I mean? So you might as well go all the way. When I now, when I'm sort of shaking nowadays, I picture myself. If they're in a taxi, I picture myself. Me, it's me in the taxi. Even if the the guy that's chopping is a white guy, it's still me. You know what I mean? That's that's part of the imagination. Let's go all the way, man. But guess what? Imagination's now become real life. Yeah, because yeah. Ella Hughes follows you on Instagram and Twitter, and one of my girlfriends told me, whatever, if you speak into uh, into existence, it becomes real. That's what they say. TED Talks, she got that from. Next comment from Jim Ross. He's back. I wish that was the real Jim Ross. The but I also wish it was the fake one too. Yeah, it's the fake one. The watch along, remember wrestling, is the new wave. People liked it. That was good, man. Yeah. That was proper, proper good. In fact, I asked you and Felix for the clip and you guys heard me, man, in the group. Don't know if you guys noticed. No, you didn't. I didn't ask? No. Nah. I, thought, I thought I could get away with that one. <laughs> Is it? People, that's a new one. Tell people you've told people stuff in groups. And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You, I do it to point all the time. It's not a new I one. I do it to point all that the time. all the time, yeah. <laughs> it always works in point, but it don't work on Felix and Tigo. But now, get out of here. <laughs> Next comment comes from Harjan Gahir. Yeah. Swarms was sick in this episode. Who? Swarms? You know why, you know why I included that? What swarm? Go on. Because I think a lot of people think that the people who make the content uh, that people watch, they all watch everything and they know what everyone else is getting up to. And and I think uh, there have been comparisons like to you and, and like Gasworks and whatever. I'm telling you people, Specs has not watched Gasworks. He watched, he, every now and then you'll watch it, but you don't watch anything. No. So you don't know the Swarms joke. No. Swarms went on Gasworks and basically didn't say anything. And they're saying no guest is Swarms. Swarms went on Gasworks and didn't say a word. Yeah. Why? Well, do you tell Can me. Can he talk? I, 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 who I, is he? I don't know who he is. Is he an artist? I guess so. See, but Tigo, Tigo, like, Tigo you're Alhan right. likes those kind of guys. I mean, I don't know. I've, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, man. I, I, you, you need to check my search history. I might, I might take a picture of everything I search. Because I'm a man that I'll be watching, for example, the last guest books I was watching was Jamie's sister. Julia Danuga. Julia Danuga, right? George Clooney. Yeah. So I'm watching George Clooney. And then I remembered, oh, Tay Rock and Goods. <laughs> so now I'm watching your RL rap battle. So I'm there watching, 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 reload, reload, reload. And then it went into 60 Minutes which is some program that comes on YouTube, but it's, it's Australian. They talk about crime and all this stuff. Steve, they bring back Steve Irving's case. I'm like, this is amazing. And next you know, I'm watching a film with Morgan Freeman, Michael Payne. Michael Caine. Michael Caine. And um, coming with the other actor, but these guys are robbing the bank. It's on Netflix. And they robbed the bank with no pace. <laughs> Was it good? Terrible. Everything's slow. They robbed the bank in masks, but they stayed in the bank for two days and still got away with it. I don't, I don't know about Morgan Freeman these days. 188 centimeters, it said on Google. So he's a tall man. But when I decided to, you know, let me dig deep on Morgan Freeman. I like the spots in his face as well. Yeah. So let me, let me dig deep. I started checking him out. And then I saw he was having an affair with his granddaughter that was, uh, you know, sadly murdered later on. And that's when I thought, mm. hmm. Morgan Freeman, you need to go on 60 Minutes. <laughs> Straight to TV and be investigated. It's the truth. Out in style. Out in style. Um, we did watch 
uh, Beta Squad's video the other day. Oh, amazing. Those guys are sick. Yeah. Beta Squad. That was uh, uh, Sharky, Chunks, uh, Nico, AJ, AJ, Nico. Darkest. Those guys are sick. Guys, okay. I want to get them all on here, man. I want. I like it's just it's just so organic. Mm. You know what I mean? Again, I'm not saying no analysis. You know, I'm not saying Gasworks ain't organic because they ain't watched it. But yeah, it's, I love Gasworks. I think I my I lack concentration. That's that true. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. I yeah. lack concentration. Yeah. So yeah. That's why you can see a lot of goals late in games when you play football. That's right. Next comment comes from Sahib Hashi. Big up Sahib. Sahib. This was even funnier without a guest from Mogadishu. Is it? Oh, big up Mogadishu. Oh, oh my God. So, hey, the other day I tapped in Mogadishu on YouTube. Your beach is beautiful. I even tweeted that when I go to Mogadishu. Mogadishu is beautiful. Somalia is beautiful. I have to go there. My only problem is I'm scared to fly. But I'm going to get over that. Next comment. Actually, it's from Daniel SMPH again. He says, also, when you name drop people like Critical or Daza, could you include their at? <laughs> the thing is, with Critical, you, he doesn't need an at. He, he doesn't need an at. Why? He needs a hat. <laughs> that is what we're... Don't, 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 don't try to take out the bitch. <laughs> he doesn't wear proper hats. That's the thing. <laughs> he went viral again this week. Did he? What did he do? The oh picture. yeah, the picture of him. Yeah. Um and um Lacazette. Yeah, Lacazette and uh, Ozil. That was that was actually funny. Yeah. Daza. What, <sighs> what what do these people want to do? Why why do you guys wanna why do you guys want to look at Critical and Daza's socials? What's that about? Yeah, you can't look at Daza's da- Daza's not Daza's not here on the gram. I can give you Daza's socials, but he Daza's never online. He's <laughs> never online. Daza's Daz is too busy breaking up the fight between his mum and dad. I, I every time I used to go Daz's mum's house, them dad and mum, they go at it like they're acting like Wilder and Fury, and I always, I always have to stop it. So he's ref, he's ref over there. Why? They just keep fighting. They just keep fighting. Daz's dad thinks he's eighteen. He thinks he can go to Yardy Rays with us. <laughs> you know, he needs to stay with the with, with the wife. Yernan said, Jordi El Nino Pollo. Little Spanish Don. Amazing. Pause. So, so see, this is one thing like I was I, I was saying like a lot of people listen to me and think, well, what, what's this guy on about? No, but you gotta research what I'm saying if you don't know. You gotta research. When you research, you realise, okay. Mm-hmm. I got loads of messages from the Conor McGregor interview. People didn't get it. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you have to go and do your research. Yeah. You go, you go, you, when you go to reach, you realise, oh, that wasn't his first interview. People think that was my first interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't even see myself as an interviewer. I see myself as a, we just sit down and chat. Yeah. So, yeah, I think a lot of people wanted like a serious UFC conversation. Oh, you will never get a serious AFC conversation. <laughs> no, I don't think you would. Next comment come from Calm Bros Gaming. Oh my fucking God. You never played No Mercy. Specs, you're a fraud, mate. What game was that on again? Nintendo 64, uh, No Mercy, WWE. I've got it. I've got it, gamer. I've got it, it, it. I've got it. But Mario Kart is not coming out of my N64. We have to do a. Um, mm. We have to play it. Yeah. On, on we got it. We got it here. In, we got it here. In, in yeah, the but I, I broke the TV. Oh, you broke the TV, isn't it? Yeah. I forgot. I've got, I've got a TV. We'll get a TV. But I've got a TV. I've got a TV in Finchley. It's just sitting there. I'll, I'll bring it. But I don't think you could put it up in the wall. But we could put it in a hangar or something. There's, there's, not, there's, not, there's no rules. Ain't got to be on the wall. Uh, the next comment comes from Mohammed Zain Bamji. Yes, Mohammed, man. How uh, did I actually think that there was a guest called Nobody? Shake my head. Wasn't until five minutes in that I clocked. Amazing. I mean, straight away, I know you got a critical problem. <laughs> your hairline's somewhere beside the side of your face. <laughs> so you didn't clock nothing. But it happens. It happens. And um, yeah, man. Um, that just shows as well that the way we started it off, maybe we didn't need anyone. You know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's organic, isn't it? It's organic. But that's the thing. I don't want to force a guest. I want to force the guest. There are some that need to come on that have no choice. Yeah, yeah. Scribs. Yeah. See, Scribs has to come on. Chunks. But right now, Scribs is teaching education. Yeah, Chunks. Chunks has to come on. He doesn't have a choice. Ch- After what I heard from Ch- Chunks, has got a secret that he's going to tell the whole world on this show. Yeah. And he has to come on. Chunks, you have to come on. I'm the first person to realise that behind you is a lappy. Toshiba. I'm the first one to put And you congratulated me for that. So you need to come on and show people 
that you ain't got no back off. Your back goes straight into the back of your thighs. Just hamstrings. No bum cheeks, just hamstrings. Chunks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And, you know, those people that haven't that, that we need to get on twice. Harry, Steve-O, Poet, Alhan, uh, Jordy. Those are people we need yeah, to get three times, four yeah, times. Absolutely, even. yeah. Even. Because yeah. we could all, we could get Dazza and Runner and That's Rago what, that, and, that's my, that's another thing. I want to bring, some, as much as I've got the Frost, the, uh, sorry, the, 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 the Harrys, the Alhans, Poets, the Vuj, the Miles, the Dans. I've also got my friends that hang around. I've got a friend called Chairman. You know, he's six foot nine. And he's a funny guy, big, massive. But I want to get him on. I want to get Rago on. I want to get. See the thing about Runner, I'm not happy with Runner. Runner's mm. uncle, right, is called Axeman. Oh wow! So Runner's uncle, you know, he's about he's he's, he's touching fifty. You can see fifty. He's backhead right now, the old man. He saw me on a bike, a bicycle. You were on a bike or he was on a bike? I was on a bicycle last year yeah. riding. Yeah. He was at a bus stop. I was riding past. He's called me. Freddy, Freddy. Put over. Oh, how are you, unks? Give him a hug. Where are you going? So we're going home. He goes, drop me, King's Cross. <laughs> no. One second, one second, one second, one second. So I'm looking at unks. Yeah, remember, he's losing his hair. You can see 50's back off. <laughs> drop you. Axeman. I'm on a bike. <laughs> yeah. So he agreed. He wanted a saddle. So we're looking. We're looking at each other for time. Now I'm thinking, should I call Runner? Make Runner translate that <laughs> a man can't be on my bike and I'm riding in front. God. Next, you know, I've given him a saddle. <laughs> So I'm riding, I'm riding down, riding down with Axeman behind me. Behind you. Behind me. He's on the, he's swinging his legs. <laughs> because my bike ain't got the thing where you can put your foot on. So he's swinging his legs and I'm riding. You're standing up. And you, all you can see, everyone, all these situations on the high road, can see these two black guys, big men, beards. One's got a, a fade, one's got a fade here. <laughs> We look so stupid. <laughs> and that road where he stands to get the bus, I never go down that road again. Because even though, even though I was walking, I have to still drop him. <laughs> Did it work? Axe, man, fuck you. You embarrassed me. This is no rule show. Fuck Runner's uncle, man. <laughs> you didn't want to saddle him on the handlebars. T, 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 no, no, T, T, two grown men on a bike. It doesn't look <laughs> right. Absolutely, I'm I not agree. saying any, like, I'm not, like, it just doesn't look right. I agree. I can't give you a backy. I can't give Felix a backy. I can't give a, a, a Bilal a backy. That's not what we do. Agreed. But Runner's uncle, his name's Axeman. <laughs> Axeman. <laughs> he wants to go King's Cross. That's what he calls him, Axeman. So, he wants to go King's Cross, he wants to go work. And what, what does he do? To, uh, What's his work? He's security at Weight Ross. <laughs> Why are you rushing? Wait for the bus. <laughs> Swear on that, man. I didn't, why did you tell them? There's no rules. People, don't tell no one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I not to keep secrets. My cousin's not to keep secrets. Well, that was Serious Sundays. You know what it's time for? No rules news. Why? You, huh? Remember wrestling? You got this wrong two weeks in a row is now. It? Yeah. It's remember, what? It's what remember wrestling. Why does it always come before the wrestling? Today's <laughs> Remember Wrestling comes from Sunday Night Heat. It's Crash Holly versus Mark Henry in a hardcore match on the 9th of April 2000. You ready? I hope I hope they got Mark Henry's um, entrance music here. I'm sure he, he was rapping on it. Fans are amazing, man. What do you call that? Protest. When you write on when you write on boards and put it up in the air. It's a protest um, to me. <laughs> a protest? So six weeks ago, Crash Holly won the hardcore title because hardcore Holly hit Test with a chair. That that situation trims alright, man. Is someone talking over him? 
Now the Mean Street posse are trying to attack him because it's 24 hours, obviously. Viscera. That's amazing. Look at this. They're in a hotel. Look at that. Look at that, T. <laughs> that was like my diarrhea the other day. <laughs> Is that an indoor fun fair as well? Yeah. Oh, Teddy Long's here. Teddy Long. While Crash Holly's getting a massage. Imagine being a referee trying to count with glass all over the floor. And now it's Crash Holly versus Mark Henry. That's not fair. One of the smallest guys, that's one of the fair. biggest guys. But that's why he's got weapons. But is Mark Henry that's used weapons? Yeah. That's not fair. Coming out with weapons. Remember, he used to come animal. out with those scales because he used to say he was 500 pounds. <laughs> Wrestlers lie about their weight a lot. Oh, his name's Crash Holly, not Crush Holly. Yeah, Crash, yeah. You know, wrestlers lie about their weight a lot. That's what you told me when I thought, um, uh, was it Big Show was really 500 pounds at the time? Yeah. And their size and, and their height. A lot of people believe that stuff, yeah. So Undertaker's not really six foot ten. He might be six foot ten, but I bet you can find times where they've said that he's seven foot or six foot eleven. Or... I would do that. I would lie about my height. Well, how tall are you? I think I'm like five eight, five nine now, but... If I was a wrestler, I would definitely be 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, mm. And I would always want to fight critical. <laughs> Why? Just just a good friend of mine. I'm trying to hear the entrance music. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that the sexual chocolate character from him was terrible. Sorry. Why? There's nothing sexual about Mark Henry. Mark Henry is like one of the, you know, Unattractive, you know what I mean? Drew is like unattractive. When his hairline went, he was nice. But he he was better when he had the the braids, the and braids the, and yeah, stuff. The, yeah, they were the braids. Oh, so they've started fighting before they've got in the ring. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Did he just hit him with a monitor? I think it was bin lid. We were talking about hardcore matches earlier in the car. Did you like hardcore matches? I did. I did. I just liked all the, the all the objects and all the you know I mean, all the weapons that we're using. I liked it. Yes. That's that, that's why it's not fair. He caught him. He, he caught him like he was a bull. <laughs> How can you catch someone in the air. So you can slam him down. Well, so Mark Henry used to pick up cars before he caught Crush uh, Holly. Yeah? World's strongest man. That's what they used to call him. But apparently, he was the world's strongest man. But he never won the Olympics. Hey, Tigo, he's showing the crowd. <laughs> what, what? What's in the bin? <laughs> did, did he bring the bin? No. <laughs> what is that? What kind of stick is that? This is a big pole. Oh. No, it's just a stick. It broke it. It might be a pool cue. Looks like a pool cue. It didn't break, though, did it? They break? Yeah, yeah. I love it. that's that's one of my favorite bins. I wanted I wanted them bins in my room. Mum went on it. Why? I just like I don't know. I just I don't know what it was about it. Well, why would your silver. mum not be on it? Gosh, yeah, because it's not. My mum was on this whole carrier bag on the door. <laughs> yeah, so she was on. She yeah, was on I it. feel like it, yeah. I feel like that's a generational thing. My parents hated bins. Everything had to be bags, bags and throw the bags, bag away bags, as bags, soon as bags. it fills up. <laughs> My mum was on his back on the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I moved out from my parents' house, I, I made sure I had bins everywhere. He's working on the leg. Because he, that, he has no choice. <laughs> Can't caught, catch him again. Oh. But he's got the agility to win. I'm looking at Crush Holly's hairstyle. I'm thinking... Should I just give it a try? Dye my hair blonde? And beard? Should I? No, then I'll, I'll look like... Abel Cici. Xavier. Xavier, CC mm. and Coffee Olomide. Coffee Olomide does not have situation. How can you slide tackle someone and trip them up and drop them? What? <laughs> what? He won! He's won. No, one second, one second. He won by that move. Yeah. Was that his special move? No, but he, he tripped him onto the metal in the middle of the ring. This is 
may p possibly the oh, worst ending. Oh, the referee counted fast. Who is this? What? What? The ref. The referee just tried to pin be the, Crash. So Ali. the ref wants to be the champion. Has the referee got a ponytail? Crash Holly keeps getting up. What the hell is going on? The ref and Crash Holly are fighting. I can't believe this. Now you ain't got to pin him, surely. So the ref was a wrestler. Must have been. But I don't recognize him. He had a ponytail. Now that's a nobody. So where did the other ref come from? It was, it, they tried to set up. <laughs> the referee's trying to get I together to L, win the title. It's an L when you plan a set up and it goes wrong. Nah, it's terrible. That's, that's, that's the worst one I've seen. Personally, just because it was a bit too quick. The intro, the build yeah. up was longer than the fight. <laughs> it was. It was. And it was a title match. So the ref and, and the ref could have been the ref tried to be the champion. Yeah. There's really no rules, man. Really no rules at all. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not uh not particularly happy with that, remember wrestling. That was just a rubbish match. But then again, it's heat. Yeah. So heat is allowed to kind of. It goes to prove what you've always said. Heat is. Heat is the. The B list. Yeah, the B list of. Yeah. Yeah. So if I was to get Daz on here, he would be the heat guest <laughs> on this show. Yeah. So I think we should we should always stick with the heat. All right, out of ten, what would you give that? <sighs> heat. So I've got to be fair. The intro was longer than the match. Mark Henry was called Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> Got tripped up and landed on a piece of metal. A and the referee tray. tried to nick a win. <laughs> That's a 10. That is a 10. There's absolutely no rules. A That's a 10. That was terrible. That's a 10. I would go to. No, T, come on. There was only one move. But there was a lot of tricks. <laughs> there was a lot of tricks. tricks. There was a lot of tricks. Pull Q on the back as well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Can you imagine the uh, the weapon that Mark Henry landed on was the one he showed the crowd before he threw it in the ring? <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he told the crowd he was going to land on it. Yeah. He, yeah. Was, he sold it early, I guess. Yeah. That's called foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Yeah. Well, that was a terrible, terrible remember wrestling. Terrible. No, 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 it was a 10. For heat. It was heat. It wasn't good enough to be on a Friday night. Well, we're going to make up for that with a classic No Rules News. Mm -hmm. This first story comes from the Daily Star. Baboon escapes vasectomy op at testing lab and flees with two female monkeys. A baboon. A baboon looks like it's a monkey, chip. it looks like a chimpanzee monkey. It's that kind of family, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Baboon. Yep. Yeah. One of the My mum used to use that word on me all the time. Oh. He acted like a baboon. <laughs> so maybe she had one back in the day. <laughs> baboon. baboon. I was thinking as well, they're pipes. Well, that's what this story's about. One of the baboons was scheduled for a vasectomy when he took two female primates in a daring escape from a New South well, Wales hospital. I didn't go eating. Yeah, well, I did go eating. We did vasectomy years. last week. T, what does what does respect me mean? Oh. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, T? You're using big words here. I need a thesaurus. What we does did, it mean? We did this exact bit last week. Vasectomy. Vasectomy. Is the willy? Really? It's where the man has his tubes tied. He can't produce semen anymore. Oh, okay. First our semen. And, okay, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna store that. Let me store that. Respect, respect to me. Cool. A, ba a baboon scheduled to have a vasectomy has made a daring escape with his two lady friends near a hospital in Sydney. You can't have babies though. No, but he escaped before the, the vasectomy. Uh, baboon wants to produce. Footage captured by stunned pedestrians so shows the trio of primates running loose in the car park. 
at the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital today just before 5.30pm local time. I agree with the baboon. If that was me, I'm trying to get out of there as well. Why are you going to stop me? Didn't just get out, though. Escaped. With? The two females. Of course. Of course. Let's, I, I would say to... If I was a baboon, I'd say to the other baboons, listen, let's go, uh, uh, let's go to that bush, hide, and then we start, you know, making our way out into uh, Manhattan or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Australia. Australia, 60 minutes. But... <laughs> The, the, these baboons. So how does the how does the baboon know? Oh, the baboon's like me. You see, remember I told you last week or the week before. I don't like going doctors or dentists enough because of these people that wear long coats in white, looking like Dexter's laboratory. That shit freaks me out. I don't like the smell of hospitals, and you can't be wearing a mask or coming with metals trying to sort me out. Well, the baboons have run off the medical research facility towards a parked ambulance. Uh, the New South Wales Health Minister, Brad Hazard, said the male baboon was due to have a vasectomy at the hospital and he's being accompanied by his two wives to keep him comfortable. They had a, it's a they, baboon with two wives. They had a, well, maybe Muslim. It's a Muslim baboon. <laughs> it's a Muslim baboon. I don't care what anybody tells me because they're allowed to have as many wives as they want. Next story, No Rules News, comes from MSN. Do you remember MSN? I used to like that because every time, you know, I've got a message in the bottom corner, I used to always think, oh, it's a new girl jumping on my case. But it was always Dazza. Beg your friend. Dazza, you're a cop blocker. <laughs> always in the way on MSN. <laughs> I would love to see what you and Dazza's MSN conversations were. It was with Championship Manager. Oh, I what would, What do you yeah. think of you and Turam? Allow me, I'm waiting for a message from a situation. You weren't on situations back then, though. What? Emma Bunton, like, you, you, you listen to me. You, Emma Bunton. Dog strolls into police station to report himself missing. A dog. A dog. Remember, I had a dog tea, Pablo. Right. So I know about dogs and, and, and pet insurance. <laughs> know all about it. <laughs> Talk about him off. <laughs> twelve pound a month. Yeah, I was paying twelve at the time. That expensive. That's that feels expensive. Is it? It's Last cause, week because he, he was a Yorkshire Terror. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, in the wee hours of the morning, an unexpected visitor strolled through the doors of Odessa Police Department in Texas and hopped up on the counter. It was a friendly dog who seemed eager to let officers know of an incident in progress that a certain someone had gone missing from home. He himself. See? And they say dolphins are the most, uh, the cleverest animal, you see? Oh my God. Eddie Murphy was right. <laughs> These motherfuckers talk, man. <laughs> That's dog, that dog is, is standing up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what dog is that? That is a, a, a old station. It appears to be an Alsatian. What, what's it called? Old Station? What's the word? Alsatian. Alsatian. I yeah. never knew the word. Sergeant Rusty Martin was among the officers there to receive him, noting that the pup appeared none too distressed by his lost dog status. Mostly, he just seemed out for a good time, and he got one. We were all excited to have him in the building, Martin said. We had a tennis ball and threw it in the lobby for a bit. Everybody loved him. How did, how did they know? That the dogs come to, you know, say that someone's in danger. Was it just growling or well, something? He wasn't. He was saying, I'm lost. How? I guess because he had, a, well, it says the dog was wearing a collar, but the ID tag had apparently fallen off. So animal control was dispatched to come in and check for a microchip. Before they arrived, though, things took a turn. Evidently, deciding he'd been missing long enough, the dog headed back to his family all on his own. He ran out just as quickly as he came in, said Martin. The owner responded the next day to say that it was his dog and he'd return home. He lives about a mile from the station. So maybe the dog thought that that's where the dad works. And he was just the dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's, you, when you have a dog, the dog's like your child. So that's why I always say that. But you know what? When I, when I, I remember there was one time I had Pablo and I came in from work when I was PE teaching at the time. And Pablo came, I was sitting on the sofa and Pablo come and kind of like tapped my leg, right? Tapped my leg, 
went to where I hang my jackets and put his um, teeth on the, um, on the lead. And straight away I was like, oh, he wants to go, he wants to go and use the toilet. Mm. And I was like, bro, that's talking. When you think it's about communicating, it. It's communicating, yeah. It's communication. Yeah. So this is, I, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting a dog tomorrow. I'm getting a dog tomorrow. But I didn't know Pablo can go far as if something happened to me. I don't know if I went out and I ended up, you know, not coming back home or going to the situation house. I didn't know Pablo will leave the house, maybe go to a police station or pull me missing. I didn't know that could happen. That's amazing. Just pop up. Just pop up. Well, Pablo's, it was, it, it can't, you know, obviously stand up like that dog can. But, you know, it probably have to just jump on, it'll, it'll jump on something, it'll work it out. In fact, you know what it done to you one time? It mo- it grabbed itself a little, um, like one of them little steps and moved it close to the cupboard so it can reach for something. Oh, right. Listen, man, if you've got a dog, can you relate to this? These dogs are serious, serious, serious animals. How long did you have the dog for? Two months. No, what? No, 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 not two months. What are talking about? A year. Okay. Definitely year. Definitely it's still, it's got a lot done in a year, Pablo. It was a year because, yeah, then we found out someone in the family had allergies to, to get rid of it. But I'm, I'm, I still, I still want to bring it back. I want to bring it back. Well, it's, it's too late. Well, not that. I'll still get another Yorkshire Terrier. I'm calling it Pablo. But in my mind, it's the same dog. Well, this next story, this is, a, I just want you to take on this. Mm. This is from CTV News in Canada. Mm-hmm. Zamboni driver pulled onto ice as emergency goalie helps hurricane beat I leave. I I said Hold you. on. I, I, I said to you, I said to you, I said I didn't go eating. Zambona. Zamboni. Zamboni. What the hell is that? So Zamboni's basically the groundsman in ice hockey. Right. So you know that thing that drives around? Yes. That's a Zamboni. That's a, okay, cool. The Zamboni driver pulled onto ice as emergency goalie helps hurricanes beat Leafs 6-3. The driver was forced onto the ice as an emergency backup goalie for the Carolina Hurricanes, which is a top flight ice hockey team in in America, yeah, Carolina, made eight saves to help carry the team to victory over the Toronto Maple Leafs, probably the biggest ice hockey team in the NHL, in a dramatic turn of events. I just want your take on it. Is that a serious sport where you could just pull a groundsman in? It It was never a serious sport. When I had an ice hockey game on Sega Mega Drive, there was a part where I could fight. It turned out to it turned into knockout kings. Very early. So I've always never rated ice hockey. You can fight and people could sit there and watch. So I didn't like it. In skates! Remember, when Bolt and Scoops had a fight, I told you Scoops won because Bolt made the most noise and more movement on his feet, which means that Scoops was moving him around the place. <laughs> but in ice hockey. On skates, you, you have no balance, but they're throwing blows. So this is, I mean, you saw Wilder on Saturday. Yeah. Very similar to an <laughs> ice hockey player getting punched up. So for me, I was never a fan of ice hockey. But I can't believe that a Zamboni <laughs> went in goal. <laughs> went in goal. So in football, you can't just be a goalkeeper because there's there's ways. <laughs> I, I've got my goalkeeping badge level one. There's ways you catch and dive and you know what I mean. He yeah, made eight like, saves. He made eight saves. So if you, who's who's he playing for the Hurricanes or the Hurricanes and they so, beat the Maple Leafs. So the Maple Leafs, they need to go. They need to be extinct. They need to be extinct. They need to they, they need to get out of here. That's embarrassing. I think it's embarrassing for the sport as well, right? It's, it's of course embarrassing for the sport. I bet you the guy was wrinkled up. Because <laughs> that job there, that's a job that where your pension, you didn't do your pension stuff right. And you got to just do that job, you know, part time. <laughs> how old was he? Let me hear this. Over 50. <laughs> um, how old was he? Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> His name was um, David Ayres. Mm-hmm. And he was 42 from Whitby, Ontario. And he, he played in a different team's kit. Does he get paid for this team, by the way? Yeah. 
Oh, it's a proper. It's a groundsman. It's basically a groundsman, but ice hockey version. Terrible. This is embarrassing. But then again, the ice hockey goals are very, very small. Yeah. And those they use a. I used to be a hockey teacher. They play with a puck. That's it, a puck. And those pucks are very heavy. So you're putting. He, David was putting himself in danger at 42 years old. <laughs> if that puck hits a pipe. <laughs> well, there's a lot of padding on a goalkeeper. It's a terrible story. Next story. British, this is from Interior Design and Architecture, Good Home Design. So it's a good make, good newspaper. British parrot went missing for four years, returned speaking Spanish. Parrot. Parrot talk, innit? I've, n- I've always been intrigued to understand why parrots talk. Why the fuck is a bird talking? <laughs> No, seriously, I've seen I've seen clips of parrots swearing at people. Have you like, done any research into why they speak? No, I don't want to. I, I don't want to. I want, I want Brexit to get rid of these flipping parrots, man. I want no British parrot. The only, the only, the only people that said parrots is the ones in Somalia. That's it. The final No Rules News story comes from The Independent. PS5 controller could track biofeedback such as sweat and heart rate patent suggests. Games could get easier if players are stressed. When is PS5 coming out? It may be delayed by the coronavirus, allegedly. I feel like everything out of Asia is delayed <laughs> Every, by the coronavirus. Everything's getting delayed by coronavirus. <laughs> Olympics. What's the train I jump on later on? A new PlayStation controller could sense biofeedback to adapt games to your body according to a new pattern. Sony has filed new patents that show it's working on technology that could pick up signals such as a player's sweat and heart rate to understand how they are feeling. I don't think PS5 deserved that. Are you a stressful gamer? No, I'm a, on Football Manager, I'm very stressful. Yeah. Football Manager is a game that can stress you out. I don't think PS5 games can stress you out because you have the option of playing expert, beginner, mm-hmm. whatever. You have the option. So if it's too hard, just go back to easy. Football Manager, when you're playing it, you could be, like, for example, championship. Me and Das started a, a, a league, right? He's top, and I was second for ages. I started dropping. I'm Blackburn. So I started dropping drop players getting injured. Corey Evans. Corey Evans. Uh, Deck. There's a player called Deck I got. Uh, who else is there? Dominic Samuel. Good team. Grant I tried Hanley. To, I tried to buy David Weir, by the way. He refused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rivals. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's why. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, um... We get to the playoffs. Um, first, I've, I've got to, I've got to the final. Nil nil in the final. I've lost some penalties. Now I don't want to play anymore. No, <laughs> he's in the prem and you're in the I'm championship. T- I'm stre- I'm shaking. Like the penalties, I'm holding the mouse and I'm. And remember, like because I'm shaking the co- the computer thing. So it's poor Dale. Why are you doing the interviews now? <laughs> nice nah, penalty shootouts. You know I mean, so that's a game that should be taken in all of that. And trying to maybe, maybe let me win, knowing that my friend who's playing online with me has already got promoted. He's won the league, so now I'm in the playoffs. Let me have it as well. He can't be in the prem, and I'm playing the championship. He plays 38 games. I play 46, 46 games. Yeah. It doesn't work like that, T. So obviously we haven't resumed. I'm not answering the phone to Dasos. By the way, Dasos, if you're watching now, just cut it off here. <laughs> Delete the save. Delete, yeah. But for me, that's the only game that should. That gives you Who was he manager of? Sw- uh, Swansea. All oh, right, 2018. So, but we've got all the latest signings. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's his, his, he's done their bit. Well, there it was. I felt like I was a motivational speaker there. No rules so show. Stuff. Yeah, I had a dog though. Y- did you? I showed you my dog. Fuck off. I showed you Pablo. Didn't show you Basil. <laughs> <laughs> Who lived longer, <laughs> Pablo? <laughs> Joe Walker said his dead dog went to the corner and died. <laughs> Joe Walker, why are you telling me that? Fuck that dog, man. The dog knew he was going to die. Didn't even say goodbye, nothing. That dog weren't talking. The dog went to the corner and tried to go away in spirit. <laughs> Didn't want to jump up on the counter and tell yeah, the police. Yeah, jump on the counter. Jump, stand up and tell everyone, yeah, yeah, I'm great. I'm great upstairs, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Sign up properly. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave comments. Genuinely, the comments were fantastic this week. 
Uh, next week, guest. Mm-hmm.